Hi there guys, my name is Johnny Robinson, aka I'm Core One on the Train to Gaming Forums, and let's talk about some placements. As first of all, let's jump straight to the questions of what the students are saying about the placement. Chaos asked this, basically in a nutshell, you were saying, okay, great, the placements are awesome, but I work full time and it helps pay for my course. So you're thinking, okay, placements, it means leaving a job. If you are aware, Chaos, I've given up my job, but it's experience what I'll need. And I know anybody in this industry has wanted to make that sacrifice, they're gonna to have to need to do it. Not they don't need to do a placement. I know there's a few people on the forum that uh, were working for companies now and they've had no experience. I wouldn't really recommend giving up your job. You know, it obviously it depends on what kind of pay you're on. Uh, some jobs, I know the council do this. If you uh, if you say, oh yeah, I'm gonna go off for a couple of months, you can ask them to like reserve you a place. I don't know if this actually works for every company, but I know the council do this. So if you work for the council, you said to them, oh, is it, is it okay if I take a, an educational leave for a couple of months? Don't get me wrong, you won't be getting paid by them. That's how it works, that's their catch. You will not get paid. But you know, it's definitely a leeway. I, I'm trying to resolve, I'll be looking into it for, for everybody and um, unfortunately that's the best answer I can give you it's either in a sad way give up your job which is the harshest kind of advice I can give anybody or ask the company if they can hold the placement or if not go on a long holiday why not go on a long holiday and ask to not get paid for it so okay yes, that's my advice to you and I hope that helped right and let's talk more about these placements you are aware there'll be a lot more placements coming up in the future so I know what you're thinking how do I get noticed how do I get noticed this is what you're saying to yourself I'm actually going to really quote you from Dave Sharp here. This is the guy who was arranging all of the placements for the students for Train to Game. But he says, to, in, a, in a weird way, he puts it out like this. You've got to have an attitude to go for the placement. You've got to really show that you're really interested into this course, what you really want to get into the game industry. So how do you stand out? A lot of the students now, a lot of the artist students, are starting to display some of their threads onto the Train to Game forum and show their work in progress. It's kind of cool because I've been looking at a lot of the uh, posts and I've been seeing such a progression in work. Not only are you getting noticed, by obviously the students in the course and they're also supporting you. I don't know if you're aware, but Matt B is one of the admins of the Trains Game Forum. He works for DR. He could easily go off and say to, I don't know, Clive Robert or uh, Tony Brickley or Dave Sharp, oh look at this, it's amazing. And then obviously, not only that, a DR looking, that say Codemasters, I know Codemasters have popped up and offer jobs on the Trinity Game Forum. Put your work on, show progression, interact on the forum. You've got to stand out now. It's kind of hard because I, I see the Trinity Game Forum as a community, which it really is. It's an amazing community. There's some fantastic people on there. Please go on the Trinity Game Forum. You've got to really pay attention to this place because this place is the shiznies. I quoted that on a radio talk show. Uh, okay, so I know what you're thinking. Okay, Johnny. Okay, Johnny, calm down. I'm not an artist. How can I show my work on there? Well, for one, you interact with the forum. That just says one thing enough. You show that you're committed. So how do you let yourself stand out? You go to places, you meet trained game students, arrange meetings. I mean, I know there's an E3 convention going on, so if you've got time, please go to that. Interact with the students. Everybody from DI will be there. Say, yo, I'm uh, whatever, whatever. And uh, this is someone work, whatever, whatever. And I'll tell you something, I would sure Tony or anybody, Matt B, Will, Mete, anybody, they'll be like, whoa, man, that's, that's, yeah, cool. You know what I mean? Show your face, get interacting. Programmers, okay, programmers, right. Apparently, I've been thinking about this one all day. How could programmers show themselves and promote themselves on the Trade Game Forum? Well, for one, help out students who are stuck. I see a lot of posts on the technical discussions on the programming course. I would expect a person who's ready for the placement and willing to take that next step to jump into that question and go like, right, okay, you do this, you do that. Obviously, the people do that and they're getting noticed. So definitely do that. Diners, how do you stand out from the rest of the crowd? To put it blunt, build as much work as possible. Just, you know, always be creative. Dave Sharp says that, always be creative. Always create things, show your work. Make a website, make a portfolio website, which we'll be doing later on in course anyway, I like. But how to stand out is another thing. What I do is I learn other stuff. I'm not, just, I'm not, I say this all the time, I'm not bounding myself to um, just my course. I try and learn as much as I can. If you are, if you are not aware, I've um, done tons of tests. I've really taken my English. I'm learning Unity, learning the UDK engine. Uh, I'm learning JavaScript. I'm learning Inform Seven. I'm learning Python. I'm learning Lua. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's a lot of hard work, but you can tell I'm definitely working, can't you? And the fact that you're seeing me right now, you can tell I'm going that extra mile. So in a way, I'm standing out more than you. How can you stand out? Make a video. I don't know. Um, my advice to standing out is be confident as well. Don't be shy. Get your face out there. You're not gonna get any anywhere standing behind a, a curtain you've got to be front stage and you say look at me this is what it's about but don't be too cocky because then you know what I mean 
You come across as a douche. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I will gladly help. If not, the Trent Game Forum members will kind of jump in and be like, da -da 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 -da. you know, spend the time. It's like firing lasers at the fingers, Alex. It's so ridiculously awesome. Yeah, in three weeks time, I'll be starting my placement with DR Studios. And just for you guys, what I'm going to be doing in my spare time on the weekends, because obviously I'll be all the way in Milton Keynes, I'll have no girlfriend, so I'll be very bored. So I might expect videos for you guys. I probably, if I can, I'll have words with uh, some of the DR stuff. Maybe try and get them on one of these videos. If I can, if not, then fair play. It's all up to them. It's down to their goodwill, really. Uh, but until then, I will give you some more advice, and that video will be there once it's up. So if you want to click there for that next video, of me at DR Studios doing my placement. Check it out. Anyway, guys, I've got to get myself off. I'm Johnny Robinson. Thanks for watching this episode of Trinity Game, or no, episode of Iron Call 9's Trinity Game experience. Until then, game out. Peace.